and I'm actually kind of terrified that I'm going to bump some of this and it's going to fall all over the place. How's it going guys and thanks so much for checking out this video. Uh, this one's going to be the Toy Photographer's Guide to Action Figures or at least my best uh, attempt at one. I got all this stuff set up here, I got so much to go over and I'm actually kind of terrified that I'm going to bump some of this and it's going to fall all over the place so expect that to happen sometime <laughs> within the video. So in this guide to action figures, we're going to go over what kinds of action figures there are, which ones are, are good for toy photography, uh, where to get them, how to keep up with it. So I really recommend sticking around for the whole thing. Also at the end of the video, I want to give away one of these action figures here uh, because I got another one of these clones and I just wasn't a fan of how they came out. So uh, I want to give it away and stick around also to the end of the video on how you can win this guy. So this is just another thanks for being awesome and helping me with this YouTube channel that I'm trying to do. So thank you guys. So before I start naming off all of these toy brands, I just want to make it very clear that you don't have to use any of these figures that I'm about to name off. You can use any old toy you got laying around. You can use anything you think is cool. You can use some Legos or a Hot Wheels or the most expensive $5,000 realistic action figure you have. You can use anything you want. Toy photography is about having fun with your toys, whether that be your old vintage toys or whatever the heck you got. So you don't need to use any of this stuff. So figures that are $20, a little less, a little more around that area. For all these brands and figures that I'm going to name off here, I'm going to have their websites and their social media below in the description and later on in the video we'll go over why it's really important to pay attention to their social media and their website stuff like that so i'm going to start off first with our boys and girls at hasbro hasbro is probably one of the biggest brands around uh, in the u.s or in the world for sure they're the ones responsible for marvel legends star wars black series the the main transformer action figures the power rangers lightning collection the new gi joe stuff uh, and what's really great about hasbro is they focus on making them affordable and still good figures all at the same time and they're very available too so you can find just about any of this stuff at walmart target gamestop you know if you're around the u.s that is so the main Star Wars figures you'll see me using are made by Hasbro. They're Star Wars Black Series. They're my favorite kind of thing to get. Uh, they're cheap. They're good. They're awesome. Uh, same with the Marvel Legends. They're just about the same thing as Black Series, but they're Marvel figures instead. Uh, and same with the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. All really good stuff. Uh, all made by Hasbro. Another really great thing about Hasbro is they're very in touch with their fan base. Just about every single week they'll have like live streams going over stuff that they're revealing uh, and they definitely take their feedback very well. And it's really cool too because you can you can go to the store and you might be able to you know find an action figure like this. So the next figure brand is uh, McFarlane Toys. So McFarlane Toys has been around for a very long time, I think since the 90s, ever since Todd McFarlane started with Spawn and all that stuff. Uh, but I feel like more recently they've really been stepping it up and they now have the, uh, the license for DC figures uh, and they make a lot of video game stuff, a ton of video game stuff and some anime stuff. They're just kind of branching out and trying to get as much toy licenses as they can get really and um, they're pretty good. They're always going to be around $20, $25 and they're pretty good figure considering the price for sure. And I'm always looking forward to seeing what new stuff they got coming out. Like, soon they got, like, a Batman Beyond coming out. I'm totally getting that. I'm <laughs> super excited for that. And now that we're also on the subject of DC figures, uh, you may also be able to find a lot of great DC figures through DC Direct or DC Collectibles. Uh, they actually recently, like, shut down. Like, they're not really a part of the big DC anymore, but there's still, like, the last few figures coming out. Uh, and you still will probably be able to find a lot of these guys around and they are still good figures I'm sure you'll be able to find them online but uh, a lot of the good DC figures are from DC Direct or DC Collectible 
Another great company that people love to shoot and love to collect is a brand called NECA. NECA really specializes in, in movie stuff, uh, some video game stuff, a lot of horror stuff. Uh, and they not necessarily will focus on like their articulation so much, but they're really, really accurate with their sculpts and their faces and things really look super spot on. Like recently, there's a lot of good Ninja Turtle stuff. Uh, there's a lot of great Predator stuff. They mainly, I think, will focus on horror, I think. Uh, there's some new Back to the Future stuff like that, but I don't really collect a whole lot of NECA or shoot NECA very often, but back when uh, Pacific Rim was a thing, I was totally obsessed, uh, and I collected almost every single one of that entire line. So NECA is a great company, They're, they make beautiful figures, you can find them a lot in Target now. Target has like their own NECA section now, which is really cool, so you'll be able to find a lot of the new stuff coming out with NECA over there. Up next is another company you'll probably see pretty often if you're walking down the aisles at Target or uh, Walmart, and that's Jazzwares. Uh, they make all kinds of stuff. A lot of stuff I didn't even realize was them. Like uh, I'm sure you'll see all the all the new Pokemon toys are made by uh, Wicked Cool Toys, which is just like a it's underneath Jazzwares or however, however that works, but it is a part of Jazzwares. They also have a bunch of new Halo figures that seem to be really popular. Uh, I'm pretty sure they make some some Sonic figures, all kinds of stuff. There's some Fortnite, uh, and they're really affordable, and some of them are really good. Like this this Gyarados, and pretty much all their new Pokemon stuff. That's the ones I will focus on the most when I shoot. Uh, but yeah, really good stuff, and very available and affordable, which is, you know, all the best part, right? Uh, so next on the list is uh, Diamond Select. Uh, you'll be able to find Diamond Select stuff a lot. A lot of times you'll find them at Walgreens too, uh, but they make all kinds of stuff and it's all very um, affordable. Like sometimes you look at it and be like, ooh, that doesn't look super great, but it's because it's pretty inexpensive and they have a lot of uh, inexpensive statues too. You'll find those a lot at GameStop, but uh, they work with uh, Disney. They have a bunch of Marvel figures at the Marvel Selects and recently they have some new Star Wars uh, select stuff with uh, there's like a Darth Maul and a uh, Boba Fett stuff like that I have this old Jack Skellington diamond select this was the only thing I could really find in my house that was from diamond select but um, good stuff you'll be able to find it they usually have really big packaging too so I'm sure you'll be able to find them all the time and you probably don't even realize oh that's made by diamond select I didn't realize that <laughs> And so the last thing left on the $20 range figure list is uh, model kits, Bondi model kits, like like this one right here that I have yet to put together that I, I actually really need to do. Uh, but they have all kinds of stuff you can build and then actually end up being good action figures too to use. Uh, the biggest thing being Gundam, uh, Gundam build model kit stuff. A lot of people use these to get like really cheap stormtroopers to army build or clone troopers to to build armies with and then you can you know put them together you can customize them you, know, you get to build them have some fun with it and then you also have a good action figure in the end all right all right so uh next on the list are all like the fifty dollar figures and above fifty to a hundred dollars stuff like that a lot more quality figures as far as you know sculpts and articulation they will end up being a quite a bit nicer than some of these twenty dollar figures but you know you're getting what you're paying for a little bit more expensive for sure and also you probably won't be able to find a lot of these figures in stores like target unless you have like specialty shops around you every once in a while you can find some things at target they've been stepping things up but most likely you'll be able to find these guys online and we'll We'll go over where to get all that stuff later on too. So the first one, probably being one of my favorite brands ever, is Tamashi Nations. They make some super, super nice quality, super articulated, beautiful figures when it comes to uh, if it's SH figure arts or like the the monster arts or they have these uh, um, movie realization figures and they've got a lot of anime stuff. Uh, it's a Japanese brand. I'm sure you've seen me use a lot of them like this, um, the SH figure arts, uh, Mandalorian, Beskar figure, probably my favorite figure of 2020 for sure. Uh, I use them very, very often. Really good stuff. They do all kinds of different things. Probably probably my highest recommended of all of these figures. Uh, if you ever want to start diving into a little bit more expensive figures, SH Figure Arts, anything under Tamashi Nations is really, really good stuff. I really, really approve of them, <laughs> for sure. 
Up next is a toy line called Mathex, which is made by a company called Medicom. Uh, really good stuff. Pretty similar to the style of like what Tamashi brings out with SH Figure Arts, uh, but they dig they dive into all kinds of stuff too. A lot of DC stuff. I got a lot of my movie DC stuff, like my Batman vs Superman Justice League stuff like that. They dive into Marvel and Star Wars as well. Like there's uh, a John Wick figure that a lot of people use. That's from Mafex. Uh, they do a lot of really good, really really good work. Uh, pretty much every single thing I've bought from them has been really quality. Uh, but that again, you know, it's in it's in the upper fifty dollar plus range of, of figures. So, uh, but you're getting what you're paying for for sure. I, I definitely am a, I'm a strong believer in Mafex as well. I've got quite a few of these guys. So up next is a company called Good Smile, and they make all kinds of different things. Uh, they have a few different lines like Figma, like this uh, Bakugo here, and they have a lot of uh, Nendoroids, which I'm sure you've seen them uh, pretty often. People use these guys for cute toy photography all the time. I've got a couple of them, uh, but it's another Japanese brand uh, putting out quality stuff. The price range with these guys is usually a little bit higher, for sure. Sometimes even towards $100 or so. Let's say if uh, SH Figure Arts and Figma are both coming out with the same exact character soon, I would probably end up choosing SH Figure Arts a little more, uh, just because I like the quality a little bit more and the articulation sometimes is a little bit better. Uh, but they still come out with good stuff all the time, and I have quite a few Figmas, uh, so I definitely recommend them as well. Their main focus would probably be anime, lots of anime stuff, uh, a lot of characters I've never even heard of before <laughs> um, and but not always sometimes they have movie figures too like a long time ago I bought an Indiana Jones Figma which was pretty awesome for a long time until I lost his hat uh, but yeah all kinds of good stuff that good smile comes out with for sure So up next is Revoltech, and I'm a big fan of these guys. They're made by a Japanese company called Kyoto, uh, but they have this one line called uh, Amazing Yamaguchi, and uh, I've got a few of them at this point, and they're all just absolutely fantastic. Like here's the uh, Amazing Yamaguchi Deathstroke that came out a couple years ago. He's just absolutely phenomenal. Just like the articulation is just out of this world. Like you can put them in just about any pose you ever you could ever ask for, uh, and you know every single part of the entire figure has got joints, and uh, they're I don't know. I'm just a big fan. Really, really great. All kinds of great little accessories that come with them too. But they're always going to be a little bit pricier, and usually around eighty to a hundred dollars. But um, totally worth it. Totally worth it. I I'm a big believer in these guys and I can't wait to see what they come out with next. Uh, a lot of it are very comic accurate looking um, superheroes with Marvel and uh, DC. They have a Batman but they haven't come out with a Superman yet so I'm waiting for that. <laughs> um, and then uh, some anime stuff too like um, a lot of My Hero Academia stuff. I have the All Might which is really awesome and I wish I'd pre-ordered the, the Deku and Bakugo. <laughs> But uh, really good stuff. I definitely would recommend if you're willing to pay to get some of these Yamaguchi figures. I'm, they're 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 the real deal. <laughs> they're awesome. Uh, up next is a company, American company called Mezco. Probably, I'm sure you've heard of these guys. They are very, very popular to use, especially with toy photography. Um, really, really cool stuff. They they do a lot of comic stuff and do some movie stuff and then some totally random stuff like Popeye and um, Nosferatu, stuff like that. Uh, and they're very, very articulated and they all have kind of like, here's the, here's the Harley Quinn. I actually don't own any Mezcos, but uh, my girlfriend has one. She's got the Harley Quinn uh, that came out recently and uh, very very nice figures and one of the coolest parts about it is you know they have they have all the extra uh, accessories and interchangeable parts uh, articulation is fantastic and they have soft goods on all their figures just about uh, you know they have actual cloth clothing uh, instead of just being plastic which is um, that's one of the things that really makes them stand out amongst uh, the other ones and but they're a little bit pricier too and another really cool thing about Mezco is they're very aware and very in touch with their fan base and their their toy community and their toy photography, especially their that community. Uh, and they have like you know toy photo contests and stuff like that. And they'll they'll share some of their um, some of the toy photographers' images and stuff on their on their page, which is just really cool. If you know the the people that are buying your figures, it's it's smart to you know stay in touch with them. So I think that's pretty cool.
And so there's also quite a bit higher end figures as well, like high end 1 6 scale stuff like Hot Toys. I don't usually shoot with Hot Toys, but I do have a little bit of a collection. I'm sure you've probably seen this guy before. Uh, this this is the guy I used to make my Sir Dork logo. These figures are quite a bit more expensive for sure, usually ranging two to three hundred dollars, but you're getting what you're paying for. You're paying for 100% perfect, beautiful accuracy. You know, this is only for someone who's willing to drop a bunch of cash on them, but you know, pretty much any ones like these, like 3-0 was another really great brand. This is um, the only figure I have of him, of from this brand, this Fallout guy. I've used him before. Uh, pretty much anything you can find on like sideshow.com and one of the cool things about sideshow.com is if you're if you want to drop some money on one of these guys you can do a payment plan you can pre-order it and then you can pay like forty dollars a month until you pay for it which is uh, pretty cool especially if you don't want to you know just drop all that cash all at once All right, so uh, next up in the video is really just going over where to get these guys and how to get them. So first off, a lot of the $20 and under figures, you'll be able to find them pretty easily as long as you live in the US. Sorry, international guys, I just, <laughs> I only know what it's like around here where I'm from. But you'll be able to find most of these guys at Target, at Walmart, at GameStop, and you know, Walmart.com, Target.com, GameStop.com. And that's what's really cool about that. You know, you can go and go in there looking for a Black Series figure and you might be able to find it. You know, sometimes if you go into Walmart, you might be stuck with the same empty shelves for like months. <laughs> but um, they are sold at Walmart for sure. That's one of the coolest things about figures like Black Series. You know, you can actually go into the store and find it and see it in the wild. And when that happens, that's actually kind of special and I doesn't happen too often for me anymore, but uh, it's really cool when you can actually find it in the store. So, and if you can't find some of these figures, or some of these figures aren't sold, Walmart, stuff like that, there's a lot of really great online stores that, uh, you know, specifically for action figures, for toys, that are really good. And you know, they're small businesses too, so it's good to kind of support them as well. So I'm going to name off a couple of them. One, uh, number one being Big Bad Toy Store. Number two being Entertainment Earth. Uh, number three being DorksideToys.com. Number four being Empire Toy Shop. There's so many more. So I'm gonna have all of their social medias and their websites linked in the description below. Make sure you go into the description after this video. And also, if you know any other great toy shops that you wanna recommend to the other people watching, please comment below and, and let them know. You know, if you want to just support a business you love or you want to just help spread the word, please do comment some other toy shops below in the comment. So a lot of these other figures and toy brands that I've mentioned, especially some of the higher $50 plus ones, are actually Japanese imported figures uh, like Tamashi Nations, figure art stuff, uh, the Mayfex stuff, uh, the, the Yamaguchi, um, Revoltex stuff. A lot of those figures, they're Japanese. They're made by, they're Japanese imported, so uh, a lot of times when you pre-order them or you order them from some of these websites, uh, they take a while. But, if you use some of the Japanese websites, you'll usually get them a little bit quicker directly from the source. So here's just a couple of websites that I use sometimes when pre-ordering or ordering these Japanese imported figures. We have Ami Ami, we have Okini Land, we have, we have China Model Toys, uh, Omni Store, and uh, Kurama Toys. These are all fantastic websites you can order directly from the source and it'll come right over to you. Uh, especially with these Japanese imported figures. And it's really cool sometimes to just go to these websites and just kind of scroll and just like look at different figures that you didn't even know existed and then you can find stuff and educate yourself. Another good place to get toys no matter what they are or figures is sometimes looking at like secondhand places like even looking on eBay or especially on the Mercari app. I really like the Mercari app. Uh, but you just have to do them with caution because they're secondhand. You never know what you're gonna get. You know, you could get something used that might, might not be quite so good anymore. And especially when you're using eBay, you have to really, really be careful you're getting it from the right place. You could be looking on eBay for some really, really nice figure and you're like, oh wow, that SH Figure Arts figure is only like 30 bucks? That's crazy, super cheap. You know, if you see something like that, that's a big red flag. You know, there's a lot of bootlegged figures, especially with Japanese stuff, on eBay. So if you see something that looks really good and it's really cheap, and it's from China, 
most likely it's a bootleg figure, so you have to be really careful. But I'm not going to, you know, throw it out there and say it's not a good place to look. I found a lot of really great stuff on eBay, a lot of great stuff on Mercari. You just got to be really careful. And sometimes you can find great loose figures, stuff like that. Uh, and one of the best parts about eBay, Mercari, searching on there is you never know exactly what you're going to find. You could find anything, really. So along with figures and stuff like that, a lot of people will want to use dioramas along with their figures, with toy photography, and there's a lot of really great websites where you can find some of this stuff. You'll be able to find a lot of dioramas on the uh, toy sites I already talked about, but I have a couple brands and websites you can check out, especially for dioramas. Uh, and those websites being Dagobah Customs, I have a whole video on uh, one of the great dioramas I have from Dagobah Customs, uh, GTP Toys. Uh, extreme sets, ready sets, all good stuff. And I'll have all those linked in the description as well. Okay, so now we know what kinds of toys and we know where to get them. But one of the most important things, especially with figures like this, is keeping up with their releases and pre-orders, stuff like that. Uh, and so the best way I'm gonna recommend to do that is to follow these places on social media. Follow the different toy brands on social media. They're all in the description. All of this stuff's in the description, all of it. Follow the toy brands. Follow the shops that I, that I listed in here. Follow them. There's even some specific toy pages that will only just you know, share different toy releases and when pre-orders are up, stuff like that, like uh, Yak Face or uh, Kylo Collector or uh, Toy Fiend good places follow all of these guys and just keep up and if you're part of like the toy photography community or any kind of toy community on social media you'll be able to kind of keep up with things because everyone else is kind of doing it and you'll see other people pre-ordering stuff you'll be able to keep up and with this part I cannot stress it enough when you see a new figure coming out pre-order it pre-order it because if you don't pre-order it, it's going to come out, it's going to release, everybody's going to get their pre-orders, and then it's going to be sold out everywhere. <laughs> Unless you go and find it on eBay for triple the price, because everybody else got it, because they wanted it. And unfortunately, that's just how you know the, the popular toy stuff works. If you don't pre-order it and get it right when it's hot, um, it's going to be hard to get. So a lot of these figures that I've, I've, probably some of the figures that I'm showing off now, like Captain Rex right here, at a certain point in time, he was new and you could probably find him pretty easily if you pre-ordered him or if you got lucky at Target. But nowadays, you're not going to find him at Target because he's a few years old. So try to pre-order these when they come out. So to round everything up, you know, make sure you go to these, these sites, make sure you go to their social medias, follow them, you know, keep up with things, familiarize yourself with what figures do what. Most of the time you see different toy photo posts on Instagram, they'll probably tag the figure or tag the company in the post. I always do with every single one of mine. If you ever go to one of my posts and you see a figure that looks really cool, check the post. Uh, and I will have tagged the company in it. You'll learn real quick all about these different kinds of figures because if you're new to toy photography, if you're new to collecting, this is, it's kind of overwhelming because there's all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of figures. So I hope this was really helpful. I really, really hope this was helpful okay, for you. Okay, so now for the giveaway, this 332nd uh, Black Series Clone Trooper, I want to give him away. The only thing you have to do to enter to win this guy is to like the video, subscribe, and then comment below your Instagram handle. Um, on February 15th, I'm going to post on Instagram who the winner is, and then I'll send it out. So just another thank you for all the support you guys give me on YouTube. Seriously, this year so far has been fantastic. Thank you guys so much for everything. <laughs> you guys know where to find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, SirDork730. Again, I really hope that this was a helpful video for you. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.